What's good, my people? We are definitely back again for another vibrations here on the one and only Mystic Reaction Channel, guys. Round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who tuned in to yet another reaction, guys. Big up yourself one time. Of course, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can pretty much get all the videos as they tend to come through. This is, of course, where I tend to react to a number of videos taking place. <laughs> this is where I react to a number of videos across Dominica, the Caribbean, and of course, uh, the world by extension, based on the relation to that of the Caribbean. And of course, not just that, guys. I also react to audios as well, as well as pictures. That's something I've also been doing as well. I haven't been saying that in the in the introduction, so to speak. But definitely, guys, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get the videos. And definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that right there and then. Now, guys, we actually have this kind of photo that was sent to me um, some time back. I think it was um, not. I think, but it's definitely from Danish Charles. And of course, this is based off the second passing, uh, based of her. I haven't really seen the update, but this is what it's saying based on the second passing, the Rona passing right there. Of course, this is based of a man named Sylvester John Baptist of Point Michel. And of course, she's pretty much saying that anybody who pretty much knew this guy knew him as a quiet individual, a gentle son, a kind individual. And of course, she stated that. Uh, that's one of the things that that part there pretty much one made me wonder what, what on earth was she trying to insinuate right there. She's pretty much saying our senior citizens or seniors... Uh, seldom, seldom leave their house, houses and are more, uh, are most times infected by their loved ones. So is she saying that the loved ones is the ones who infected this guy or what exactly happened? Maybe he, he was an individual who went out from, maybe not as often, but maybe he went out and, you know, he must have gotten this from somebody who was in, you know, thing. I, I, I don't know if that is the case. We also, also know that, you know, positive, um, things doesn't necessarily indicate that you have the runa it could be something else however um she was seems like she in, was insinuating that it's the family members or something that possibly gave this guy this thing however was ruled as positive when it comes down to the to the runa situation and she was pretty much saying how many more loved ones do we have to bury for for us to come to together to fight back i have declared war uh, and this Rona thing in the Sufria constituency breaks my heart to lose a constituent because of this Rona situation that we can all stop together. And she pretty much stating that it was the the well she went down there. Let me see if I can get it. We have to fight back. She was not not that she was saying a bad thing. Yes, you need to fight back if there's something out there that's bothering people. Definitely, no doubt about it. Uh, a silent killer. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a silent killer. I would say that people need to do what needs to be done to have it. But she was pretty much trying to say that the, the, the proven weapon in this fight, based on our own medical data in Dominica, which I don't know which medical data she's talking about in Dominica, because all you guys are just taking things all year from overseas, not necessarily taking it for your own self, I guess based on what you understand from, from your little sphere. But this goes much deeper than just saying, oh, we know this. You, you have no virologists that pretty much do tests on these things for you to know this, this kind of situations there you don't have this thing but you're talking about your own thing anyways maybe she she knows something i don't know or maybe you guys know something i don't know in dominica do we do testing on this on these patients to to find out what exactly is the cause and how it works and what is the viral load and those kind of things there anyway she was pretty much talking about the injection right there seeing the proven weapon in this fight based off you know the data in dominica apparently is that the the injection the injected do not die from which of course you know that is not the case considering that another individual uh was um affected the first one the very first one uh was indeed injected with the thing on friday and a few days later she passed away of course she had comob um, comobodities comobodities <laughs> I, that's an interesting word right there um so that could be a factor however the injection could have heightened that as well um on the basis i'm not sure if this guy was injected but of course he was indeed an ill individual as well the uh uninjected have no defense so you, you, you have no defense yeah they do they have their their not it's called natural immunity if you guys were doing research on this very thing you'd understand that natural immunity when it stays in the body is more potent in fighting not just one specific spike protein it is it, it, it can fight several this is why if you you get infected you have to definitely try to boost up your immune system so you can combat this thing as much as possible of course in the elderly people might be taking a little more because their their bodies their immune system play offense 
uh, instead of defense, they don't develop or the, 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 or the development of any new antibodies will pretty much be a very minute amount. But in the younger persons, they can develop new antibodies uh, in this regard. So this is why the elderly folks play offense and the younger folks play defense in, in the, when it comes down to the situation. So if you get infected, your natural immunity will be much better at fighting off several. You can look at it. Look, look up the scientific data. Look it up. Google it. Natural immunity is much, much stronger than fighting one thing. This is why they call it the breakthrough um, um, cases from individuals who have been um, 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 injected. And there are a number of individuals who have passed away. I think about 22,000 as of July 2020. By the way, it's before YouTube for <laughs> me. I believe that there. Anyway, she was pretty much using this person's um, um, passing as some way to try to promote the injection. Which, of course, uh, one of the family members definitely responded to this. Let me let me go down lower so you guys can pretty much see what was being said right there. You can pretty much read it for yourself. That is not the cure, my people. That is definitely not the cure. There are scientific virologists, immunologists, all these people are telling you that this is not good for the body. This needs to be further tested. There are other things that people tend to use that actually work, but they're trying to stop it. I don't know what, what on earth is going on. In, in this year world but anyways at least she said in loving memory of sylvester john baptist but apparently one of the family members the granddaughter of this individual was not uh, of 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 the, the sylvester individual was not um i'm pleased by what she saw and this is what she said i would like this post taken down i do not like the intentions of this post at all it doesn't scream sadness like we feel right now it doesn't feel sympathetic in any way shape or form how can he use my grandfather's passing as a campaign to get this injection? He has a family. Take it. Mm, you understand the 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 the, the, um, the patwa there. She said, "Take it down, man. Take it down. Stop all your dirty ways in this regard, right there." But apparently, this individual was ruled as one of the 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 runa, runa passings. So I think that is the second one right there. However, there was this individual as well. She, uh, Delcy, I think is her name. Um, she also passed. Um, of course, she also had um, Kumu, uh, she had kidney um, issues right there. And I think they were trying to play it off as if it was the Rona that took her. But uh, I, I'm going to mention something afterwards because I also have people inside there that tend to give me some information in this regard. But this is one of the individuals who uh, stated he was a very close friend. And don't let... Don't let them liars and thieves at the hospital lie for all, you know? My friend was ill already, and it was not the runa that took her life. This is what he was saying, based on the information that he was having with her. And my personal friend, which is a nurse at the hospital as well, told me from the moment they gave Delcia that jab, she got worse and worse. Now, a doctor friend of mine, who is actually, um, um, works inside there, um, he wasn't in direct contact, but he heard about this, this case before she, she passed. And one of the things that he, he told me, is that he, he he from his understanding he heard as soon as she got the the injection that kind of went worse for her in this regard no i cannot really say he was just saying from his understanding this is what he understood um being inside he wasn't in direct contact like that the like the the lady i knew inside there for the first very first one as well as some of the individuals who were in the asymptomatic place who also knew this lady and knew that of course this was the situation right there so when you talk about jabs and stuff you have to be very very mindful in this regard he also made another post my friend did not die from the one he says the same thing uh, pretty much my friend uh del cielo had kidney issues like i said before that's one of the things that i found out as well she definitely had kidney issues i also heard that her son is is um ill as well uh so hopefully he can pull through in this regard i'm not sure if he's still ill right now but when i got the information I heard that he was was still ill, so hopefully he gets to pull through um, in this regard. I was always talking to my friends, so he was always interacting with her. And according to one of my good friends, which is a nurse, so I guess, uh, which is Delcia's friend as well, so I guess they, they all three of them knew each other in this regard. As soon as they gave her the job, she started to get worse. And that is what uh, one of my uh, people was saying in this regard, from his understanding with this particular individual. My friend uh, uh, died from kidney issues definitely that's one of the issues right there no doubt about it and the job he stated but the job could have escalated that kidney issue right there so i always want people to always hey let us look at this thing and be mindful be just be mindful because guys if you look at the real gist of the whole thing we don't have total data on this thing 
the data that we have seems to be against the very injections right there. And natural immunity seems to be the solution for this very problem because it can fight not just one um, um, protein, but several of the variants out there. And the body is in a way where it de develops... De I don't, they, man, I, I just thinking of the amount of things I have read, the studies, the autopsies and this kind of things. The real autopsies by new, where they did this stuff on people and they found out that it was not just one... The, the spike protein that they inject in the cells with, it spread across the body. And there's also another one where it took up, um, um, spoke about in women, where it was going into the ovary areas. The spike protein. But, but all you don't have to worry about they're telling you take it. Well, let take it. Go ahead. I mean, everybody have the choice to take it. Another thing I noticed that they tend to do is that they are trying to make things like, like oh, Viagra. Oh, oh, Viagra is, is I think, it's not approved. Or if it's approved, why are you guys taking it if it was created by the same company or whatever? But nobody's forcing Viagra down on people's throats. Nobody's losing their jobs if they don't take Viagra. I mean, people have to understand. It's not just saying, oh, this, oh, look, it make bound company. How come we take it? Well, people have the choice to take it or not, just like they have the choice to take the injections or not. But in my personal understanding, it's not just taking injections. You have to understand where exactly you're going. Plus, the Viagra definitely has been here for quite some time and to compare something that has been there for quite some time versus the minute amount of time that they're taking to allow something to come into fruition which by the way is very much de debatable which um we found out that there's something else that was approved not necessarily that thing but they say that it can be interchangeable when one thing that we know uh is pretty much still under the emergency use only but if you want to get more information on that guys Message me and I'll let you guys know what it is. I sent that to a few people already. The literal thing from the FDA, what exactly they approved and whatnot. But anyways, guys, let's continue right there. So Tony Astafans is out. He never he never spoke when Ch 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 was, but he's back in the building, man. He's back in the building. Anyways, Tony Astafans wanted to toot his horns and put out his opinions out there. Very foolish. He's not a doctor. He's not nothing. He's not a, a, a lawyer. That, but anyways... Anyways, this guy decided to toot his opinion, saying the myth of having a constitutional right to take the job has taken root and argues that rights can be taken away for the greater good of the country. What is the great? That's one of the things that I noticed that they're they trying to push, talking about the greater good. The greater good is supposed to do good for people. Irregardless of you saying the greater good, it should never affect somebody's personal choice based of what the constitution have nothing to do with what you think and your opinion on what you think this is why they are taking two people to court in court and people are winning their cases so if you want to talk about hope oh, you can take away people's rights and tell people they have to take it nonsense you're talking if people want to take it they don't have to take it you can do nothing about it at all anyways you also stated down there um opinion the myth of having constitutional rights or not i think that's the same thing is a conversation about the the thing and the possibility of being made mandatory in the fight against this thing um says though we may have rights as citizens they are not absolute and are subject to be taken away for the greater good of the country and mandatory injections are no exceptions to the rule of course they are they are definitely exceptions to the rules <laughs> you cannot bypass that this is one of the things in Antigua that I also noticed let me see if I get that thing for you guys to see this is it right there let me make sure it's bigger for you guys to see and if you, you can read this for yourself guys Antigua Trade and Labor Union of course this is pretty much what you'll see in awares of the fear of you know uneasiness, uneasiness that is being generated among employees by the policies on you know the job and fortnightly testings however in keeping with the union's previous official statement on the subject we reiterate that every individual has the right to choose in respect to the taking of this injection this missive what this it sounds like dismissive but this missive i guess this missive also serves <laughs> um to ensure that employees have no obligation to subject themselves to arbitrary testing as it was never a condition precede, um, precedent um, to their employment. You guys can pretty much read the stuff right there. And this is the Antigone Trade and Labor Union. And if you have to contact them, they give you the number right there and stuff. So Antigans, if you, uh, you've you been forced and thing. And another thing I noticed in Antigua, I've heard that they actually brought the, the Pfizer thing into Antigua. But on the basis that 
they're giving it to 12 years old when it was only allowed for 16 and up and then now they are complaining about children in Antigua having heart problems <laughs> oh boy anyways guys considering the whole situation right there we've seen this thing and one of the reasons why we believe that they, they opened up the economy uh, make things open back up it's not that scary them was really you know my goodness all you want to do all you think do all you think no they probably didn't want to give people stimulus package apparently i just heard that in the united states um i guess um biden is trying to follow um donald trump what donald trump was doing by giving uh stimulus packages monies as well in this regard and they're about to give i think the fourth stimulus um, um, um check or packet not package don't give package this is our package in dominica this is the yellow back thing that he was giving in the videos a while ago free pong min fig free dashing quarter string beans <laughs> some chicken wings stimulus for you while they're they having a ball of a time have a ball of a go ahead have a ball of a time but talking about a ball of a time guys i noticed something right there in france that is taking place if they decide hey they want to push things i think people have to understand that the people have more power than the people in power so to speak because this is what is happening in france guys the people in france cannot get into restaurant because they don't have this the injection stuff so they decided to do some picnic outside the restaurants and leaving the restaurants empty all the sidewalks and streets occupied by um with people having a good time right there this is them right there guys I received this video today so i'm guessing this video is either today uh, uh today or yesterday when i i was sending this video right there so the people are forgetting about the restaurants who say you need to take the injection you need to take the injection just like i think they did in guyana guys the guyana nurses hey all you want to tell us we cannot come inside with no injection everybody resign and when everybody resigned now they had to call them back they also did that in in another uh, part of guyana in one of the government buildings telling them they cannot step foot inside there if they do get in, in, injected and everybody inside the building the government building resigned when everybody resigned they had to call back everybody they had to rethink their plans they think they just can just put things on people i tell you people the, the people have the power the people have the power no it's not just saying oh all you want to resign let me it is a unification thing and this is one of the reasons why i believe that they're trying to um put each other against each other this is why you hear in biden and some of the others saying it's a it's a war brought about by the unvaxxed individuals which is foolish because not the in unvaxxed individuals are spreading the mutating this very um, um illness it is the vaxxed individuals that is doing that this is why it's called breakthrough cases it has bypassed their system and is now coming out of their system they are the ones bringing forth the new type of variant that they're complaining about saying oh um it kind of defeats the purpose of herd immunity and this is one of the things that Fauci was saying if that defeats the purpose of herd immunity then what is the point of still taking the thing for what what reason no guys don't get me wrong you can take your thing as you want to take your thing you see it fit but on the basis that they're trying to force these things on people is foolish now if you want to say things protecting you and you have to do things wear your mask and you get your injection that is you if something has to happen to you in the long run because some people say, oh, I didn't turn into a monster or a zombie. No, you don't have to turn to monster and zombie. We well, nobody say about monster and zombie. You're watching too much movie. <laughs> but the things that can happen to you in the long run might be very dangerous. And there are millions upon millions of adverse effects. And that's one of the things that we notice they're not doing in the Caribbean. Talking about the adverse effects. We're talking about the two um, situations of the individuals that escalated after they took the, 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 the injection. I think the, the girl, um, I don't think she had the runa i don't think she had it uh, because she was not um put as as one of the runa related passings uh but um it's, it's just interesting how, how how people are thinking about the whole situation man it's just really in interesting and then you have doctors coming and t trying to talk as if they know better than virologists i don't understand we have doctors in dominica coming and act as if they know better than virologists who have been studying this very thing all you good, all you good, all you good, yes, sir. It's something new, well, not necessarily new, but something new in the sense of what is affecting people right now. And they are the ones studying these things and doing the testings, yet still, you want to tell people to take things, and then we know about all the adverse effects and this kind of things. Yeah, do people die from Rona? Of course, people die from the Rona, no doubt about it. Do people die from getting injections? Absolutely. 
on the basis however is your, your, the, your main fight and this is scientifically proven your main fight is natural the natural immunity especially around the younger people look at what I, I, was, I was talking about the whole situation involving and um, people that have noticed and I show you guys saw the Guadalupe video if you saw the Guadalupe video circling around with people lying on the bed you realize that all the people there were obese they were obese individuals which means that there are several comorbidities comorbidities i don't know why i said that fast like that but hey it is what it is in the united states the same thing 78 percent of the people who have affected symptomatic are, are, are obese individuals the uk is the same thing my aunties and nurse up there and she pretty much tells you the same things there's a lot of fat people coming in 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 in, in these things what do you think this is man what do you, what do you think this is on the basis that they say about 214 or 215 million people have been affected by this thing and then you have about 192 million people who have recovered on the basis they said about 4 million that means if you minus this you get the amount of active cases that is less than about 20 million people who have active cases and that includes symptomatic and asymptomatic and boy i can say a lot of things on that but let me know make youtube decide to come for me <laughs> Because YouTube like to do that they on YouTube way. Oh, you might. Uh. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation right there? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. This is my reaction on the different things that I got from my informations right there. I did a little more research in, in this regard for this reaction. That was probably a bit too in-depth for, for a reaction. But I, 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 this, this, this is something that I'm very much passionate about, guys. And understanding how the world is working and you realize some things doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Like, for example, they tell you take injections. You take the injections, don't prevent you anything. They say it's better for you. But if you realize people who have not taken the injections, 80% of them are asymptomatic. So they're telling you to become like the asymptomatic people by taking injection. To become like the asymptomatic who didn't take no injections because these asymptomatic people have no clue that they have the run inside them. You have to take a test for you to know if you, you're sick <laughs> and you're not sick. You have something inside your body. There could be all kind of things. Cold, cough, all kind of something there. You never know. It has the same spike like the, 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 the Rona itself. So if you're intestine for that, and boy, I tell you, it's a whole crazy kind of crazy vibes up. <laughs> Yo. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? Man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. This is just my thoughts on the whole situation right there. And of course, if you understand what I'm saying, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. I can exercise, brothers and sisters. So to get my most of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can exercise, the brothers and sisters. So I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.